Hello, I'm Winey and I'm gonna tank a dungeon. Don't know why, don't really care, just feel like tanking a dungeon. Don't even get a satchel out of it. I'm just in that sort of tanky dungeon-y moody thing. I thought I'd make a few videos though, just sort of randomly showing off classes that I find fun and hitting the microphone with my hand. And I thought best way to start this would be with my main, which is a prot warrior. I thought I'd go through the tanks first. I have every tank above level 85 though. Oh hey, somebody's already pulled and I've only just zoned in. Thanks, people. Couldn't wait two seconds. Oh. Ah. I never did like Shadow Pan Hops theory. It's sort of the um grim batol of Woo lag. The of the um Mists of Pandaria raids. Uh, dungeons. But yeah, I, I thought I'd show off all the tank classes. Um, I have all of them above 85. I only have monks and DKs at 90. Um, my paladin and druid, I've both been lazy at the moment, still 85. But, you know, that's fine, that's fine. I'll just, you know, do a leveling dungeon. Something like that. I also have most other classes at um, 90. I think I'm missing rogue and those other ones that I'm missing. Um, Rogue, Shaman, and I'm sure there's another one. Paladin. No, I've already said Paladin because I was talking about tanks. Are people actually in here? No, I'm missing somebody. There we go, there's the fella. This boss here is alright. Nobody ever stacks up for him when you mean to. But, you know, that's alright, that's alright. This is, you know, last patch of the done of the expansion. Ooh, ah, oh, Ghost Iron. That's boring. I don't mind the Ghost Iron. This is a pretty, pretty dungeon though. Nice to look at. There's lots of cool looking things. There's, you know, these tiger things here. Big ugly dragon. Who I didn't even think I need to actually tank, but I will pop all the cooldowns. 160k crit with whatever the hell that was. I wasn't paying attention. All my outy, damagey thingies are over there and go away. We just don't care about you. Oh look, second on DPS meters. Go me! The energy is strong. Yes it is. Even though we don't have a rogue. Haha, <laughs> terrible joke. There's some kind of nice lore around this dungeon as well. The whole... Like, I hadn't actually done it after... Do like, the first time I did it, I hadn't done all the quests in Kunlai Summit about the Shadow Pan and everything. And When you've done those quests and you've got the whole backstory of why the hell aren't the guys actually showing up to help us or anything, um... Then you come in and the Shah of Violence, for one thing, is screwing everything up because he's a knob. And then the Shah of Hatreds possessed Terranzor, and then you go through um, Town Long Steps and Terranzor's still there. Uh, the Shah of Hatreds there and you actually get to kill him. Incidentally, I haven't actually killed all the Shahs on this character yet. I still need to do the Shah of Despair. You should get a special title for you kill all of them, including the Shah of Pride, now that the Shah of Pride's actually out. Oh well. But yeah, um, the, the story's pretty neat, I guess. Um, and, um, uh, this dungeon's not too bad. Oh, somebody's pulled everything. And I'm frozen in place. There we go. Get aggro. Why are these guys still chasing? Get aggro, and then just kite them all away. Kitey kitey kite, kitey kitey kite. A more powerful spell. What spell is it? I don't even know. I get. Oh, I think that was actually um shield barrier. Are people actually trying to DPS these guys? I don't care because I'm still kiting. So yeah, Pro Warrior is my main. Um, it's a really stupid story why Pro Warrior is my main. Um, the reason I picked Warrior goes all the way back to. The first MMO I played, which was Maple Story, and everybody's inside here still. Okay, have some ads, everybody. I'll bring you some friends to play with. Here's your friends. Um, yeah. Before I played WoW, I played Maple Story, and I played that for way too long because it's a terrible game. But originally, I made a hunter, I believe, in that game, or ranger, or whatever the hell the bow shooty class in that game was called. I honestly don't actually remember. I think it was a ranger. And I completely balls up the stats when I get, got to level 10, and it literally meant that my character would have been breakable beyond any chance of repair. So I re-rolled, and at the time, the friends that I was playing with, um, 
they were all like, oh, warriors suck, nobody plays a warrior. Who would want to play a warrior? They're so lame. So I was like, nah, screw you, I'll make a warrior. And then I made a warrior instead of a ranger. And then when I started playing World of Warcraft, I was like, well, my main on Maple Story is a warrior, I'll make a warrior here too. It was like the best logic ever. And if anybody cares about Maple Story, I eventually wound up with the Dark Knight who got to a level 157, which is out of a maximum of 200, and yeah. Anyway, um, the reason why I'm Protection, originally I was Fury because I wanted, um, when I first started it was sort of the tail end of BC and everybody was still in the whole Warriors are tanks and tanks only mindset, so I was like, nah, I'm going to be Fury and fight the power or something stupid like that there. Even though, you know, in Wrath of the Lich King, Fury was a perfectly viable spec. Um, and I think the patch that brought the Wrath of the Lich King changes, like all the achievements and all the class changes, happened when I was about 55, something like that. Then. It was before I was 60, because I remember getting the achievement for 60, and I'm pretty sure it was after 50. This boss is annoying. I don't like him. He teleports around, and I'm like, oh, where is he now? Or at least, is this like in charge? And then he just spears. Oh no, he's disappeared! There we go. <laughs> that amuses me for no reason. But yeah, um, when I eventually got up to 80, um, I was still trying to be Fury, and quite frankly, I was absolutely atrocious. I should just stand in that, it's vengeance. I mean, I've got 810k HP, and I'm like, nearly 100 item levels higher than you're meant to do this dungeon. And that's not even exaggerating. <laughs> I'm literally that much more geared than this dungeon, I don't even know why I'm here. Um, we needed, anyway, we needed a tank for Utgard Pinnacle, and my guild leader was like, hey, Wani, go spec prof, tank it for us, and I was like, okay, and I never really turned back. I mean, I know I was originally like, oh, nah, prot warriors are so lame, and I want to be Fury, and then I actually tried prot, and became part of the wider tanking community, like, I haven't actually been very regular posting lately because I'm lazy, um, but um, I really enjoy tanking and like the whole look at me I'm getting smacked in the face sort of side of it. And yeah, it's good, it's good. I honestly really enjoy Prop Warriors, the way you, I think most of what I enjoy is the mobility, the whole look at me, I'm jumping around everywhere. And, charging this guy and I'm going to intervene this other guy and then I'm going to charge another guy which is why I've gone with double time there as my tier 1 talent because the way that I can double charge was something that I always really enjoyed like there were pulls on Nexus where it was really fun to I think there was one pull in particular right before the tree crap area where I'd charge one guy and then intercept another guy and I was like, look at me, I'm the best tank ever because I can macro two abilities together. Also, this place... Oh, nope, that guy's dying. Is Mr. Filthy there going to die? No, he's not. Mount up, run to the other end of the bridge, watch as everybody pulls everything for me anyway. Yep, that guy's pulling everything. Oh well, I'm just going to mount up and run to the other end anyway and just pull all the things. I'm actually kind of pulling at a faster pace than I normally do. I'm no normally more leisurely than this, but it sort of depends on kind of how I feel and whether or not I trust this healer, but this healer is, you know, cat form at the moment. <laughs> oh, no, nope, there goes the regrow. I kind of want to try the achievement on this box, actually. I don't have it. I should really go for the, um, I should go for the glory of the cataclysm. <laughs> Dungeon Master Achievement, whatever the hell that one's called. I don't actually have it. I don't have it on the Pandaria either. But I'll do that some other time. For now though, pull the fella. It is kind of a random place for the Shah of Violence to be, you know, second last boss. I mean, Shah of Doubt's the last boss. Shah of Hatred and Despair and I think there's another one. No, there isn't. Um, just those two. Are just, like have pretty big, decent quest chains leading up to them. Shah of Anger is a world boss. Shah of Fear has basically his own two raids about him. And then this guy's, you know, second last boss in the dungeon. He's like the loser of the Shahs or something. 
and I hate that ability, <laughs> it's so annoying. Though it's really funny as a um, brewmaster because of the whole stagger thing where any damage you take turns into a dot and then the whole active mitigation goes around cleansing that dot. Um, because you've always got this dot up on you, the disorient breaks straight away and it's awesome. Having said that, I can easily gimmick that guy as a warrior as well, um, or as any class really, you taunt him, but you can also do it with a warrior with Mocking, ba mocking Banner, because Mocking Banner just spams taunts on you, and that makes that guy ridiculously easy. And hey, people are actually doing this trash properly. Amazing. Mount up to the Water Strider. The active mitigation also has worked out quite well for warriors. I was really sceptical about it, and during the um, Mists of Pandaria beta, I spent a lot of time saying, hey, Blizzard, this isn't working. Watch out for this whole thing, this other thing, and all the things. Like, one of the changes that I especially really didn't like, that thankfully they reverted, was don't pull aggro on everything, you bullsack. <laughs> Silly Shaman thinks he's a tank. Incidentally, I really want to make a more tanking video. Just if I can. Um, I need to find some people who are stupid enough to let me do it. I did manage to tank something as a warlock, um, because the tank died and I forgot that I had a B-Res. But yeah, um, one of the changes... That I'm really good at getting distracted and talking about something completely different because shamans are running in and pulling everything. Um, one of the changes that they wanted to make was put Devastate on a 3 second cooldown, seeing as it was a basically free attack, they didn't want it to be spammable, and myself and a lot of other prominent tanks in the tanking community were like, hey Blizzard, that's a really stupid idea, don't do that. Oh, nobody pulled that guy. Amazing. I've also tanked this guy where I've had no, um, where nobody was attacking the orbs and I wound up having to do it myself. But, um, yeah, they had that change to Devastate and I think I put up a well, I know it was me who put up the thread just saying, hey, Blizzard, if you do this here, you're going to wind up with periods of time where we've got, like, three seconds of not pressing any buttons. And when you contrast that to how Warrior Tanks played at the time, which was pretty much spam the hell out of Devastate. I'm going to stand in this thing here. And hey, we down the thing. He's nearly dead anyway. And, um... Oh no, he's a patron. I'm still hitting him like crazy. <laughs> Didn't even need to cleanse it at all. And that guy got one for Klaxi. Congratulations to that guy. Thanks, everybody. Um, and yeah, eventually they reverted to the change, and now the way active mitigation's worked out has been quite good, because with the whole, uh, Vendetta, um, where you have a chance to proc awesome, um, heroic strikes and stuff, it's it's come out pretty well. I'm going to run over here. This guy's so going to invite me to another dungeon, but I want to find that mining node I found earlier for no particular reason. Oh no, he's left the group. Where was that mining node? I'm sure it was around here somewhere. Nope, not over there. And, and um, yeah, the, the amount of button presses is less still than um, Cataclysm and... Wrath of the Lich King, and no, I can't be bothered finding this mining node. Oh, there it is. It's up there. No, nope. can't be bothered. The amount of button presses, presses is... It's slightly less, but it's not so much so that it feels like a different class at all, and a lot of the play style feels the same, but instead of pressing Heroic Strike all the time, sometimes it's Cleave, sometimes it's, um... Well, no, it's always sometimes Cleave. Sometimes it's Shield Block, sometimes it's Shield Barrier, and... Yeah, no, it's... It's not bad. I'm, I'm generally pretty happy. But, yeah, anyway, I'm done with this dungeon, so I'm going to stop waffling on about nothing, and thanks for watching.